You might expect a Hollywood mainstay like Drew Barrymore to be living out in the LA sunshine, but this starlet prefers the East Coast. The place she calls home, which she's given fans a look at from time to time, is actually located in the Hamptons in New York. And today, we're gonna take a look. Also, Michael and I just dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. Oh, and once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Drew Barrymore has been a part of our lives for nearly her entire life. Ever since she captured our hearts as an adorable six-year-old on ET, she's largely remained there. Sure, she had something of a difficult time transitioning into more mature roles, but what child actor hasn't had some struggles? And almost none of them managed to remain as relevant as Drew has over the years, especially when you factor in her work outside of film like her cosmetics line, clothing brand, and even a signature wine. So yeah, you could say that Drew's no stranger to seeing her name in the headlines, and that includes when it comes to her real estate purchases too. For instance, in 2019, she spent a little over $5.5 million on a 5,600 square foot home located near the beach in the Hamptons, New York. Since then, she's let her fans have a little sneak peek into her home life with regular posts to social media. But even more recently, Drew has been making waves with a viral a clip of her demolishing a hot pink kitchen with a sledgehammer. What exactly is going on here and is this even Drew's home? Well, we're about to find out. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and this one checking out where Drew Barrymore calls home. But before we begin, please take a second to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. You can also hit me up on Instagram if you want to chat. Now, let's get into this video. Drew Barrymore's 5,600 square foot Hamptons home is located on 1.7 acres of land and is only about a mile away from the sandy shores of the beach in the exclusive area known as Sagapona. This is an area of New York State that's reportedly the East Coast's most expensive zip code. Drew's divorce from fellow actor Will Kopelman in 2016 prompted her to begin looking for a new place of her own, one that she could share with her two daughters, Olive and Frankie. While living together as a family, these four lived on the East Coast, and rather than split up her family any further, Drew decided against moving back to LA and found something that would keep her girls close to their extended family. As she explained it in her book Rebel Homemaker, it was an extremely difficult and trying time in her life. She wrote, I struggled for the next several years to try and figure out a way to make Manhattan a place where I felt comfortable. She would go on to write about how she was looking for an anchor in the form of a new home, but she quickly came to realize that anywhere my girls and I are together we will find happiness well these three found their happiness in the Hamptons with a six bedroom six bathroom masterpiece but whether or not Drew actually owns the place is somewhat up in the air according to the New York Post she's just renting while another New York based newspaper seems pretty convinced that she signed her name on the dotted line of the home's deed either way Drew has been living here since 2019 and doesn't seem to be leaving anytime soon as for the property itself, it was on and off the market for a number of years before Drew found it, ever since late 2016. That's when the previous owners were looking for an asking price of $7.5 million. Over that time, the price decreased, and if Drew did buy this place, then she probably spent around $5.5 million to purchase it. Inside the home, it's said to boast high ceilings, exposed beams, plenty of windows throughout, while the grounds have a ton of outdoor space for Drew's two little girls to run around. But before before we explore the outside, including the unbelievable playhouse that Drew installed out there, let's take a look at a few of the rooms inside. Let's start with the living room. Not only does this space have an extensive collection of books fit into some built-in bookcases, there's also some Georgian windows located all throughout that let in plenty of natural light. That's on top of a gorgeous brick fireplace with an accompanying great couch that looks perfect to be cozy. But the living room isn't the only spot on the house where Drew 
Drew's book collection is on display. She's got a whole ton more in her library. If Drew's love of books wasn't evident before, it should be now. This space is loaded with bookshelves, all of them jam packed with hardcovers. It even looks as if Drew has had the majority of them recovered in matching cream paper to create a uniform and dramatic effect as soon as you step foot inside the room. Not too far from there is Drew's dining room, where she's hosted some incredible meals over the past few years, including Thanksgiving last year. This space has been painted dark brown to match nicely with the long wooden dining table located in the middle of the room that's always decorated to suit the occasion. There's also a nice window seat nearby where Drew can sit and look out onto her expansive backyard while contemplating life with maybe a refreshing glass of wine. I mean, why else do you think that seat is located so closely to a built-in glass cabinet that holds all of her glasses? Of course, there's no point in having an epic dining room without an equally impressive kitchen, and Drew's is equipped with stainless steel appliances, white cabinetry, and some breakfast bar seating. Going by the aesthetic of this place, Drew likes to keep things a bit retro in here, and she loves to cook for her two daughters with her array of pots and pans hanging from the ceiling. In 2021, Drew actually renovated this entire kitchen and then revealed the final look on her Instagram page. And while everything appears to be picture perfect in that series of images, Drew's well aware that as a mother of two young kids, it won't stay that way for long. Upstairs is Drew's master bedroom, and she's given us a small taste of it, posting images of its neutral decor and plush bedding to Instagram. There are also some framed feathers on the white walls, as well as an antique sideboard that she uses as a storage space. Meanwhile, another bedroom has a built-in TV that sits on top of a set of white drawers and flanked by even more bookshelves. There's also a double bed that fits in the middle of the room with a red armchair and a floor lamp to complete it. Now, considering how important Drew's cosmetics line is to her, it makes sense that her bathroom would be something of a vanity like dream space. Last but certainly not least is Drew's outdoor spaces, the highlight of which is a 30k dream playhouse that Drew installed for her two daughters. This castle inspired structure boasts two separate sections with swings hanging in between, as well as ladders, climbing walls, and several slides, all of varying heights. Of course, there's also a few things out here that mom can enjoy too, like a lounging area for some al fresco dining and a heated pool alongside a pool house. All in all, if there's anything missing from this place, I don't know what it is. But now that we've had had a detailed look at Drew's home, let's check out that clip of her that's going viral. In addition to all the work she's done in her own home, Drew has also undertaken the renovation of homes outside of her own in recent years. Whenever she does so, she likes to record these projects and then release them on a segment of her daytime talk show under the banner of Designed by Drew. As you can probably guess, Drew doesn't hold back when it comes to these projects, as a recent Instagram clip that's gone viral will make, well, painfully clear. So is that aggressively pink kitchen actually Drew's? To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell. If it is, it's not from her Hamptons home. But she's certainly posted other clips from this space before. Going by what Drew has said about the place on social media, this is a kitchen inside of a new apartment that she recently purchased. Where it's located, however, we don't yet know. But what is clear is that Drew was having the time of her life while demolishing the place. Whether she's remodeling her own space or simply spreading some positivity to someone else, one thing's for sure, Drew Barrymore has definitely found the next stage of her career. Alright everyone, that's gonna bring this look inside of Drew Barrymore's Hamptons home to a close. Drop a comment down below about whether or not you like what she's done with the place or what your favorite highlight of the property was. And be sure to take a moment to like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you haven't done so already, and give me a follow on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.